All right, welcome back everybody to another segment of 120 Seconds as always on Stock. Well, this time around, I am reviewing Definition of Insanity. That's the group name. Uh, the album is called There's a Very, Very Thin Line Between Genius and Insanity. So the intro is clever and it pulls on my heartstrings, and I'm going to get into that more later. Uh, the members, if you don't know, are Defect and Staples. Defect has been a staple, okay? He's been a mainstay in the Wicked Underground, the horrorcore scene for more than 20 years. Uh, if you're a juggalo and you don't really know him much outside, uh, you know him from uh, the speaking creepy voice intro of Blaze's Clockwork Gray album. Staples was, is, formerly, I can't ever keep it straight, I'll love to you, uh, a member of Bedlam. Okay, so he's been in and out of that uh, group a couple of different times with kind of some other, you know, rotating, if you will. But, you know, the, the core of Bedlam was, you know, Madness, Prozac, Staples, right? There's been a couple of reiterations from then but uh you know again staples absolute legend in, in the horrorcore wicked underground scene in my opinion so this album has several solid hooks mostly simple rhyming uh and some really bad hooks so overall it kind of <laughs> reminds me of bedlam okay uh you know both these guys have been solidly the same for 20 plus years uh, i know there are people that love defect sound um it's never really been for me, I, he's not doing a voice effect. That's for what his voice sounds like. If you ever talk to the guy, um, I love Defect as a person. I, I consider him a friend. I think I've got him in my phone. He, he's a good ass dude, and he knows that I've never been that big of a fan of Defect. However, I do like it when he's in a group. I think he brings cool chemistry that kind of changes things up. So, um, you know, him being in a group here with Staples, you know, I, I kind of dig it because the heartstring comment I was talking about earlier. Look, man, this is a throwback to the late 90s, early 2000s horrorcore, okay? Uh, essentially, you know, these guys are rhyming about being the guys that were around since then and, and having nothing much be different, okay? The definition of insanity, kind of doing the same thing, right? So, again, it really tugs on my heartstrings because that's, that's who I am, man. That, that reminds me of being in, like, high school in my early 20s, stumbling onto this horrorcore scene. And so that is, is kind of why I, I dig the album because it's nostalgia for me. So I think if you're a brand new guy you know, or, or newer to the juggalo scene and you don't really know horrorcore history, you know, I would say maybe go check out Bedlam and Defect solo shit uh, because I think that this is more for uh, guys like me kind of geared towards the old school horrorcore heads. That's not to say you won't like it. I, su I suggest you go check it out. Um, features are V Sinister, The ROC, Lissa Sir, Insane Poetry, Doom Gloom, ABK. I, to me, that's a solid ass list of features. So, you know, you can make your own decision. As always, check out the links below. Tell me I'm right. Tell me I'm wrong. Shout out to Defect. I love you, brother. Uh, definition of insanity. There's a very, very thin line between genius and insanity. Thanks. Fagolovers.net. They've covered some of my interviews. Is it Fagolovers? Fagolovers, yeah. yeah. I think so, yeah. I, I don't know if there's if that's a website, right? I'm